How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the limited edition BC Rich IT Warlock. It finally happened. I found myself a Warlock. When I was 15, which is over 20 years ago now, I spotted a Warlock in a guitar magazine. This was back when I was just starting out to play bass and I immediately fell in love with it because I was 15 and super edgy. So I waited years to find one that I could afford. And one of the main things that I was focusing on was the fact that I wanted one that didn't have broken points because that seems to happen a lot on these guitars. And eventually I found one that was almost perfect. This one's got a little bit of damage to one of the lower points, but it's gonna happen with any sort of pointy guitar, as soon as you put it down on the floor, if you put it down too hard, it's gonna fracture the finish. And this one cropped up on eBay for, I think the opening bid was 180 pounds, which I got it for. Uh, nobody else wanted to bid on it apparently. And it was fairly close by, so I went and picked it up. And one of the reasons that this model really spoke to me was the neck joint. And that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a guitar. Yeah, it's a little bit tacky, but it's cool. It's sort of halfway between being a set neck and a neck through. And it is actually separate from the body and it's just been glued in. Size wise, it does match up perfectly to the headstock. So if you look at it like that, it's really cool. You never really see anything like that. The finish is a matte black, which is always cool for playing metal and such. It's got an ebony fretboard with a single inlay and mother of pearl, but instead of being on the 12th, it's on the 7th fret, which does throw you a little bit at first, but you get around it. you still got all the side dots, so it's not that difficult to work with. This guitar is all stock, as far as I can tell. It's got the original BC Rich pickups. It's got the original BC Rich tuners, which hold the tuning pretty well, and the electrics are unmolested. One of the reasons I went for this guitar is if you watch my video on the Gear for Music Harlem X, I was so disappointed despite loving the body shape uh, that I just started hunting again uh, for the first time in a couple of years and this just fell into my lap. So it was fate really. It's got a fantastic five piece neck and it's fairly beefy feeling but not uncomfortably so. It's actually got a really flat compound radius. So at the top end, it seems to be pretty much completely flat. And then up towards the body, you're probably looking about an 18 inch radius. It's super low. And I didn't have to do anything to this. I am considering upgrading the tuners at some point. And I might put in some EMGs or something just a little bit different. Uh, I need to get into the electrics anyway because the neck pickup keeps cutting out every now and then so it could just be a faulty connection on the switch but I'll need to get in there to find out. But the bridge pickup sounds really good and when it works the neck pickup does too. Not really sure what the body's made of but the neck is made of three kinds of maple, the centre being a bird's eye maple and you've got two strips of ebony down the centre as well just to stop it twisting. I'm having trouble finding a date on this, but from the headstock I'd say it's either 2004 or 2006. So they're pretty old. Um, you can see a few photos of them online and there's a few pop up on reverb every now and then, but not very much information at all. It'd be good if they had something like Ibanez where there's a fan site where people have sort of categorised every guitar and given full specs and part numbers and things like that. But surprisingly, this thing balances quite well. I wouldn't say there's any bad points as such, but one thing to look out for with this model is that sometimes the neck join can start coming away. So without further ado, let's see how it sounds.
So let me know your opinion. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it something you'd play or is it something you'd chuck in the bin? For 180 quid, I'm happy. It's I felt like I was ripping the guy off because I do really genuinely like this guitar. And the 15 year old in me is screaming with joy. So thanks for watching and see you next time.